First at five, three people murdered in Huntersville. The accused gunman found dead in one of the victims' homes. Police say 21-year-old Michael Matocha killed three men whose bodies were found over the last three days. The first body was found Tuesday, with the last being found yesterday. But police say they believe all three men were killed on the same night. And tonight, we are asking, why did police wait until today to release all of this information? Fox 46 has live team coverage tonight from Huntersville, including new details about the victims. But we're going to begin this evening with Fox 46's Taylor Young. Now, Taylor, we spoke to a neighbor about what they found. Yeah, that's right. And as you could imagine, everyone here is just in absolute shock. Now, this is the first triple homicide to happen here in Huntersville. Police are calling it tragic, but saying that it is an isolated incident. Now, this investigation started Tuesday afternoon when police were asked to do a welfare check on Caldwell Station Road. That's where 58-year-old Michael Eugene was found dead in his home with multiple gunshots. The following day, the body of a second victim, 20 six-year-old Kendrick Knight was found shot and stabbed to death in a nearby wooded area. Yesterday, police found the third victim, 41-year-old Philip Jewell, dead in his home in the same neighborhood. Now, inside that same house, detectives also located the body of the suspect, 21-year-old Michael Matocha, who police believe shot himself. We spoke with a neighbor of Philip Jewell, who says he was concerned when he had not seen the 41-year-old leave his home in a couple of days. Next morning, the door was still open, so I went over and beat on the door and couldn't get nobody to come to the door, and I went over three times. Finally, I called our landlady. She said she had a phone number for him, and she called me back, and she says, I can't get him to answer the phone. I said, well, you need to get somebody down here to check on him because there's something wrong over there. I know there is. Now, we asked police if they are looking for any other potential victims, and they say everyone involved has been located. For now, reporting live in Huntersville, Taylor Young, Fox 46. Taylor, thank you. Fox 46's live team coverage continues tonight with Will Lewis. And, Will, within the last hour, you spoke to one of the victim's sons. Sure did, Ryan. And as you can imagine, it's a very tough time for that family. They say they're leaning on each other and their faith. Now, we spoke to Justin Elliott, and then that is the son of Michael Elliott. And Justin tells us that he went to visit his father because they were going to work on his father's truck. He says when he arrived around 2 in the afternoon on Tuesday, he immediately knew something was wrong because the curtains were drawn and his dad would usually be sitting on the porch. The family still wants to know what exactly happened, and Justin knows the memory of what he witnessed will never go away. I was the first one on scene. I was the one who called the cops when I found my dad later. It's just evil. It's just evil. There's no reason for it. Now, Justin tells us that the three victims did know each other, and he also says right now investigators haven't told him a motive for the crime. And, of course, we'll keep following this developing story and have the latest here and online. But for now, reporting live in Huntersville, Will Lewis, Fox 46. Mm, your heart breaks for that family. Will, thank you.